What are the four chambers of the heart? The heart is a muscular organ responsible for pumping blood around the body. The heart has a four-chamber system to enable oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood to be kept separate from each other. The heart pumps oxygenated blood from the lungs to the body and deoxygenated from the body to the lungs to enable reoxygenation. In this first aid video, we will look at the four chambers of the heart in more detail and how blood moves through these chambers. What are the four chambers of the heart? The four chambers of the heart are the left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, and right ventricle. The ventricles have the responsibility of creating a force big enough to push the blood around the body. Therefore, the ventricle muscular tissue is much thicker than that of the atria, because the left ventricle is responsible for pushing oxygenated blood around the whole body. It has even more muscular tissue compared to the right ventricle, which is only transporting deoxygenated blood a relatively short distance to the lungs. Blood flow through the heart is in a particular direction, a cycle. Oxygenated blood from the lungs arrives into the left atrium from the pulmonary vein. This then passes into the left ventricle, which contracts strongly to push the blood into the aorta, which will transport the blood around the body. After collection from the body tissues, the now deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium from the superior and inferior vena cava. The blood then enters the right ventricle, which contracts to push the blood into the pulmonary artery, transferring the blood back to the lungs for reoxygenation. Like a boiler or engine system, the heart requires valves to prevent backflow of blood in the wrong direction. There are four valves in the heart, which separate the atria from the ventricles and the ventricles from the aorta and pulmonary artery. There are four heart valves. Mitral valve separates the left atrium from the left ventricle. Aortic valve separates the left ventricle from the aorta. Tricuspid valve right atrium into the right ventricle. Pulmonary valve separating the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. Damage to the valves can cause backflow of blood if they are not able to close properly. This is called regurgitation. Patients with regurgitation develop dilated ventricles and atria and they have to work harder to push blood out of them. If the valves become stiff or narrowed, called stenosis, the blood flow through them gets restricted and therefore not as much blood is ending up where it should be and the heart has to work harder to push blood out. What is the function of each heart chamber? As we know, it's the heart's job to pump blood around the body, and each chamber plays a crucial role in this process. The right atrium. The right atrium removes deoxygenated blood from the body. It does this via two superior and inferior vena cava veins. Then, the blood is pumped into the right ventricle via the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps blood from the right atrium into the lungs. Here, the blood releases carbon dioxide and receives oxygen. This freshly recharged, oxygenated blood is transported through the pulmonary veins back into the heart before continuing into the left atrium. The left atrium. The left atrium collects freshly oxygenated blood from the lungs and sends it through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. The left ventricle. The left ventricle's role is to pump the oxygenated blood out of the heart and into the body via the aorta, the largest artery in the human body. It requires a lot of force, so the left ventricle is considerably larger and stronger than the other heart chambers. From the aorta, the recharged, oxygen-rich blood flows throughout the body through a complex network of arteries. It provides cells with the oxygen and nutrients they need to function correctly. Conclusion by examining the heart's four chambers and understanding their functions, we can begin to appreciate how this incredible organ works to keep us healthy and alive. If one chamber is defective or fails, it has a knock-on effect on the entire system. Now that we know more about the intricacies of the heart and its chambers, we can use this knowledge to inspire us to take care of our cardiovascular health and ensure this amazing organ continues functioning at its best.